Today I will be explaining leaked towers and TDX that have not been revealed to the public yet. There are currently 20 towers in the game, and 12 of them have not been released. First, let's talk about the two towers that have appeared in the trailer such as Refractor and XWM Turret Pilot. Refractor in this leak shows all the animations made by Crap and NX. I keep saying crap, I just forget about it. It looks like it shoots a beam to the enemies. Overall, not much about this tower. This could be a mid or late game tower. Next on our list is XWM Turret Pilot. That leads with three official female towers in TDX, not including skins. In this picture, you will see Turret Pilot in the middle, in the back having two other turrets that works like a minigun, and the other with rockets. The XWM Turret Pilot in the middle is a 2 2 upgrade, and the other two are top and bottom. This feels like a mid late game tower. Let's get over quickly with four towers Medic Tower, Redacted Tower, Golden Ranger, and Golden Juggernaut. Medic Tower will work as a support and can heal your towers when they take damage from certain enemies that can harm your defense. The Redacted Tower doesn't show any kind of weapon or has a name for itself. This tower is a complete mystery. Golden Ranger and Golden Juggernaut are two Golden Towers that have been leaked quite a while ago. They are not going to be a skin and instead will become separate towers just like Tower Battles. They are basically normal towers such as Ranger and Juggernaut, but with much better stats and so on. GR can work as an early to mid, possibly late game tower, while GJ can work as a mid late game tower. Six towers have been explained, six more to go. A lot of people thought AC 130 was a tower, but it is confirmed by John that it's not going to be a tower. AC-130 will work in a very unique way. I don't want to disclose that at all, but it is not a tower. Want to confirm on that. I believe it will work like an ability because of this video right here, where AC-130 takes action, then leaves off nowhere. It looks like a support tower as it doesn't stick around for a period of time. Only use this in mid, maybe late games. War Machine. It's a walking mech and will work as a spawner tower. Not confirmed. The concepts and everything have been redone except for the tank path, as John stated in his recent stream. The appearance of War Machine looks overpowered, but I will guess it can play as a mid-late game tower. Armored Factory. It works like a spawner tower, again, not confirmed. It spawns in Humvees or tanks. John stated the same livestream, he could add Armored Factory quickly into the game, but won't focus on it for now. I would say a early mid-game tower. While you could rely on late game, there are better towers that can outclass Armored Factory. The Behemoth Tank. It works like a spawner tower, again not confirmed. John also stated in the same livestream again that the Behemoth has been remodeled. It mainly is just tanks and nothing else further. It could work like a mid late game tower, but can be outclassed by others. The Attack Halo. This is a flying tower and does not go in a circle. It can also be seen in the trailer as well. This can work as a mid late game tower, however, it cannot catch up with enemies that can speed through your defense, like the Revive Abomination, Armored Runners, and other enemies. Lastly, on our list of the unreleased TDX towers, the Bomber Tower. Bomber Tower is one of the earliest shown leaks in TDX, only being beaten by Ranger. This tower did receive a whole rework right here on August 21st, 2023, and it looks pretty cool. John said all aircrafts won't go in a circle, because only in TDX, since this is a Bomber Tower, it can do very well with crowd control and multiplied enemies. The same problem can happen with Attack Halo, where a bomber can miss its bombs when it comes to very fast enemies. This tower works as a mid-late game tower. This is all of the unreleased towers in the game. Remember, everything I say are my guesses for each tower that goes for early, mid, and late game. I'm just theorizing all of these towers. Let me know your opinions about this, or I missed one tower, got false info from my research, want to hear me do more of this, and etc. 